Over the last two years, we have been exhibiting in several venues, but mainly technology venues. This is the first time in a gallery in New York City, which is really a big uh, leap for us and for AI art in general, because uh, a gallery in Chelsea in New York or in Mayfair in London, that's kind of uh, the, oh, the door or the gate to the art market. We started by trying to push artificial intelligence to the domain of human creative products like making art or music or, or literature because we believe that advancing AI requires that the machine be able to understand these kind of creative products of human and also make them. So we developed a variant of GAN, we call it CAN, Creative Adversary Network, which is basically try to push GAN to be creative. We give it a data set, and instead of just emulating this data set, try to generate something new. We try to let the machine learn what art is by learning aesthetics from the past, but at the same time try to not repeat existing styles. So we put the machine under two opposing constraints. On one hand, it has to follow the aesthetics, but at the same time doesn't innovate too much, otherwise it can be too shocking to people. In this exhibition, I am taking a step back and try to uh, explore how a human artist would collaborate with a creative tool like that by uh, controlling the process a little bit more, uh, pulling back in the autonomy and uh, uh, pushing more into the collaboration with the human creator. Artists has always been using new technology in making their art, and every time some new technology came, it changes the way art is going, from the invention of oil paint, to the invention of printmaking, to the invention of photography. And I totally believe using AI in making art will be integrated into the mainstream of making art in the future. I consider myself as an artificial intelligence scientist by training. So I'm looking from the scientific point of view, but at the same time, I find myself becoming unintentionally an artist. It's okay, I like it.